Yeah, really. No, 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 it's cool. Nice you to show up, Hunter. <laughs> fuck off. Why don't you go fuck your mother? How's that sound? <laughs> good? Does that sound good? And now, here to entertain you all, because every day he's hustling. Side Hustle Cinema. Welcome back to the channel. Side Hustle Cinema here. Thanks for clicking on this video. And I am finally back home from Orlando. Spooky Empire weekend. A great weekend. Had a, had a wonderful time. I mean, it's it's Florida. It's, you know, Orlando. Um, <laughs> you know, it's great food, great restaurants, bars, and, and beautiful women everywhere. So, uh, you know, you couldn't ask for a better weekend, honestly. Um, the convention was great. Uh, the guest list was really awesome this year. A uh, ton of celebrities ended up getting 13 autographs. Uh, spent way too much money. I'm going to keep a running tally uh, so you can see how much I spent on autographs uh, for the collection. Stay tuned, like toward the end, uh, Kane Hodder. His is particularly interesting. Um, he actually asks... Uh, I think she was around seven or eight years old. So I don't I don't know how old she was, but she was very young. Uh, her whole family got autographs from Kane Hodder, and as they were leaving, he calls her back over, and he offers her a free autograph if she would go over and tell Derek Mears, who was you know Jason in the 2009 remake, that his version of Jason was a bitch. And uh, so if you want to see how that goes down and what happens, well, stick to the end or skip to the end, whatever you want to do. But, um, yeah, it was it was a lot of fun. And I didn't shoot too much of the... Uh, I didn't put a lot of the vendor footage in this because, honestly, the video was so long. And the vendor footage, it was just okay. You know, it was a lot of the same people you'd seen before in other videos and... Things like that, and I didn't. I didn't want the video to be super, super long. So, uh, you know, hopefully you enjoy it. Do me a favor if you do, hit that like button, and uh, if you're new to the channel, subscribe. Um, I've got another convention coming up in August, but let's go ahead and get into this one. This is my weekend at Spooky Empire. Let's go. So I decided to go to Daniel Harris first, and uh, she was talking to uh, Kane Hodder. Her, his booth was right beside of hers, and uh, that took a minute. I'll also point out that uh, my uh, my nephew Austin was with me on Friday when I got most of these autographs, and he was actually the one wearing the glasses this time. So he was kind of my cameraman a little bit for this one. So uh, Kane Hodder's still there talking to Daniel Harris. This went this went on for a while. Um, he, uh, his line was long, it was probably the longest of anyone there, and um, I think it's because he just kind of screws around a lot. <laughs> so even Daniel Harris here, you know. Uh, you know, her assistant does most of the uh, stuff here. Sets her up, picks the collar, you know, lays it out for her, and then she kind of swoops in at the last second and takes care of things. Do you want your name on it? Uh, your signature? Yeah, that would be great. Do you like that haircut name? Sure. Love your podcast. Thank you. I know. I don't okay. know why she had come to this one okay. in a long time. All right. All right. Yeah, he's a nice guy. Okay. She's in, uh, where is she right now? I think Kentucky. Oh, yeah? She's working in Kentucky. We're trying to, like, Zoom our podcast. She has, like, just some creepy old hotel that has, like, no service. It's, like, on air. Ah. Uh. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much. Yeah. 
I love Danielle Harris. I, I was talking to her about uh, her her um, podcast with her and Scout Taylor Compton called Talk Scary to Me. It's it's really good. Go ahead and check it out. What's your name? John Fury played Paul in uh, part two of Friday the 13th. There was a Friday the 13th part two reunion. Oh yeah, sure. He's actually when I saw him, he was so cool. I'm like, I really hate the What's your name? My name's Austin. Nice to meet you, sir. You vaccinated? Yes. Uh, Next, we just jump right over to Amy Steele's booth. Um, you know, she's another one from Friday the 13th Part 2. Of course, she played Jenny. You know, Lauren Paul were the you know, two final people in the movie. Amy Steele was great. Uh, she's one of uh, the four people who I got to sign that poster. Uh, it was cool getting everyone, you know, to sign that poster. Uh, it's really one of my favorite pieces now. Uh, this next footage is, is from Derek Mears, and unfortunately the file got corrupted a little bit, so I thought I'd lost all my footage. But luckily it was just this one clip. Um, so, you know, no audio on this one, but uh, at least we got the video. He was actually really cool, and going into this, I would heard that he wasn't like that cool of a guy. You know, I watched him uh, in a video with uh, Derek's horror stuff, and he kind of uh, yells at Derek for filming at him. You know, he kind of really chews him out. And uh, I, he couldn't have been nicer. Of course, he didn't know I was filming him, but uh, he actually turned out to be a really, really nice guy. Um, yeah, I, I enjoyed it. Yeah, he was cool. Good signature, too. Uh, I don't know the guy's name. She can tell you they're all handmade. She just sold the last one of these. She's got one of these left and a couple critters, a couple two jobs. Awesome. This is Dee Wallace. They're all handmade. He was asking who. I told him you're not an artist. I don't know. Dave Lapier. And he signed the bottom and I signed the top. It's really beautiful. You can pick them up, guys. Yeah. Um. That's the last one of those you got. Will you set her disclaimer? Or you want to yeah. keep it? Yeah. yeah. That includes the autograph on it. 50 bucks. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I'm a good deal. Wow. I think so. Yeah. I'm thinking so. So I ended up getting a second autograph from her, you know, I was just going to get the Cujo poster 
autographed. Did you put one on display? Yeah. yeah. But so we're gonna give him this one in the box. Yes. Sir. We're gonna give you the wrapped up one. Okay. It was such a good deal on that. I, I had to go ahead and get it. What's your name, baby? I wish you would have used the paint pen instead of just a red sharpie. Um, it, it looks like a real, very skinny uh, signature. It, it kind of, it wasn't the best signature. But, uh, you know, it's just so cool to meet her. She's been in so many great movies. Of course, she was in The Howling as well. Love that one. And she puts a smiley face on anything, no matter what it is. <laughs> I don't know if Cujo's are a good smiley face uh, movie, but uh, everything got a smiley face. But I love E.T. That's a great piece. Um, yeah, I couldn't pass up the price. I mean, you know, it's, it's $40 for an autograph alone. So to get the piece plus the autograph for only $50, I mean, that, that's a no-brainer. And uh, truthfully, if I met Dee Wallace again, I would probably have her sign something for the Howling. Should be fairly She's just been in so many great movies. Such a great career, uh, absolutely loved it. And like I said, I, I would get another autograph tomorrow from the Howling Critters. Do you want to get a I do, I want to do the Congo. Yeah, I'm Squad, one of my favorites of all time. Now we got Duncan Rager from Monster Squad. He played Dracula. The poster I had was already signed by one of the mm -hmm. cast members, the guy that played the mummy. She was phenomenal. She was phenomenal. Now if you're wondering if I'm really short or everyone else is really tall, I'm like 5'8", so, you know, <laughs> most of these guys are pretty tall. <laughs> <laughs> they do make you feel pretty short, though. Appreciate it. And I went from his booth right over to uh, Carl Tibalt's booth. Uh, he played the Wolfman in Monster Squad. So, you know, it's really cool to get to meet him as well. I love the Monster Squad, you know. What did you get? What did you get, Mike? Um, got him from uh, Zobi. Zobi. That's where that poster came from. Uh, Shop Zobi. Oh, so he'd already he bought it for you. He'd already signed it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, unfortunately. I didn't get it.
Yeah, I knew when I bought this poster that I would hopefully be able to get more cast members to sign it at some point. I was going to ask, uh, I had seen how the other two were, and I think, well, maybe some people just want that because it's a collectible, you know? I had him put Wolfman's Got Dark. But even if it's a collectible, it still needs this, you know? Oh, yeah, absolutely. for this one so I had to just get an 8 by 10 off the table. He had good prints though. The doll he has is supposed to be screen used from uh, Child's Play 2. I don't say nothing. <laughs> I don't blame you. They're not done filming this yet. Oh, okay. What do I owe you for that? 50 bucks. You got a picture of me and Chucky too? Or just the autograph? Um, is it, I got chances. Is it 60 you? for the 60 for the picture? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was really hot in there, and uh, yeah. he must sweat a lot because he was uh, so. It was kind of gross, really. <laughs> yeah, his whole shirt was like just totally soaked. Um, not, not, not the best. I had to use a little Purell after that. <laughs> Next, we got Warrington Gillette, who was, uh, you know, Jason in uh, Part Two. At least one of a few different Jasons in Part Two. But he's the one that most people credit as being Jason in part two. Yeah. How are you? The immersion part right now. That looks good. That looks fine. I don't know. I think black looks pretty tight on that, like right in there. I did not want him to sign across the, the sack head Jason. Unless you like the blue. And I really thought that the black would get lost. I didn't want to go black. Right across there? Um, Sure. No, that's fine. How about in here? Yeah, okay. So he signed across the pitchfork, which is fine. I just didn't want him signing across the face of Jason. You know, because that's sort of the focus of the poster, you know. Did, didn't want that uh, covered up. Right across there. Okay, so, you want him to say anything like, you know, die bitches or... Alright, die bitches. Die bitch, die. Paper is sucking it up, but anyhow, we sign right here. <laughs> that poster is a poster that I actually made here at the house. Um, found the image online, and I have a printer that can print um, up to uh, up to 13 by 19. I actually 
turned out to be a really good signature. Right. He was a pretty cool guy, too. That's that drive. That's the uh, on there. Here, take a postcard. This, I'm producing this movie, which is kind of cool. It's loosely based on a true story. Okay. My father dies on Friday 13th, and then I accused his wife, my stepmother, of killing him. So it's a story of murder, justice, revenge. She's the Black Widow, like so we're gonna try and get Sharon Stone oh, wow. to play that role. I got Friday 13th behind this, so it's gonna be huge. Yeah. Um, so I'm, I'm uh, assembling a bunch of people that want to be all owners. Okay. So they they will join a partnership that owns us. Yeah, right. Yeah, that Kickstarter. Way beyond that, because we'll raise a few million on this. Right, right. And you know we got product placement. And, uh, I think it could grow 50 to 100 because of the connection to a true story, Friday 15. Yeah. We have stars, the Black Widow. Anyway, send me an email if you guys are all interested and then you'll get a perspective and just see the project. Alright, cool. Can we grab a coffee? Sure. Did you guys want me to take a seat while could be in it? Uh, sure. See all kind of promos I made, like the one I made for Spooky Empire? <laughs> yeah. He put uh, on his website. But I'm here on Instagram, but anyway, check out the movie and keep me stay in touch. All right, thank you, sir. Yeah, it's actually cool. I mean, he's got his uh, all of his information on that card. I, I, you know, I guess if you're interested in backing that movie, I guess you could. Okay. Next is Adrian King from uh, Part One and Part Two, and uh, she was pretty cool. Yeah, my name is Austin. Nice Austin, to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Love the movies. And I will be ordering the wine. I wasn't uh, kidding about that. Because you have some wine lovers in your family. Oh, I'm a wine lover, so it's all right. Thank you so much. Thank Take you. Uh, this was my uh, this was my nephew Austin's first convention that he had ever been to. Uh, he had a really good time. Uh, he's a big horror fan as well. And uh, oh, she was great. Funny. Next is Roger L. Jackson. Check out the big ones. The voice of Ghostface. Oh, hey, that's not nice. And uh, he was pretty awesome as well. It's, it's just cool when he does the voice, you know. And this was one of the few booths that actually had the big posters. They had the 11 by 17 posters. So uh, I brought a steel book to possibly get signed, but 
I decided to go with the uh, 11 by 17. It was a pretty cool print, I thought. I'm Austin, nice to meet you, man. Thank you. you want this made to you, Ty? I'm good with, like, just your uh, name, and if you want to do, like, one of the taglines, that would be great. Yes, you like it. That's awesome. Thank you. Great signature. Really cool to meet him. What's your favorite scary movie? That was a cool, cool tagline. Next, we got the Crypt Keeper, or at least the voice of the Crypt Keeper, um, uh, John Kazir. And, you know, he was the only one that, uh, you know, uh, required that you wore a mask. Uh, he had, you know, some immune uh, deficiencies, so, you know, he wanted to be safe, and, you know, I, I, I respect that. So, uh, oh, yeah. I had no problem uh, putting on the old mask. Uh, he's asking you to wear a mask as a boyfriend for the reasons. If you don't have one, I have some here. He's not in here, so. Oh, okay. Okay. I didn't actually bring any masks with me. This is the first convention that I didn't. Um, I do bring my Vax card with me. Yes. They had some great prints at this table. I didn't have a poster, but the print I got was pretty awesome. You want this personalized? Hello, creeps. How are you guys doing? Good. Yeah. I love that. That's so cool. Maybe John can share the cookie for a little bit of the words. That would be great. You got it. There you go, my friend. Let that dry. You want to get a selfie? Uh, yes. Yeah. 
stand right here and I'll think I'll find you. Yeah, he was he was cool as well. Um, love hearing that voice. So now it's time for Kane Hodder, and let me set this one up for you. Uh, it's a little hard to hear exactly what he's saying, but if I lay it out for you beforehand, you can catch it a little bit. And uh, so what it is is, um, you know, he had a really long line. This cool family was in front of me. I mean, and um, they all got like stuff signed by by Kane Hodder. And um, as as they were walking away, Kane calls the little girl back. Her name's River. And he uh, he tells her, he says, hey, if you'll go over there, he says, you don't have to if you don't want to, but if you'll go over to Derek Mears and uh, tell him that his version of Jason is a bitch, that he would give her a uh, one of the pictures and... A, uh, a free autograph and uh, so she takes off to um, to go give it a shot and hey River <clears throat> you don't have to but if you want to tell Derek Beers that you should have <laughs> if you do, I'll give you a free one of those. So you don't have to do it, but if you want to. <laughs> so it was all the way across the room. They're over there at the table now. I wish I'd have been shooting the video on this. <laughs> oh, heck yeah, I would too. I kind of want to watch the reaction. <laughs> This was at the very end of the night. I was the last person they were letting sign uh, for Kane Hodder. Everyone else had already either left or were packing up. And Derek Mears was over there packing up as, as we were, you know, waiting. Like he had no one, he wasn't taking anyone else in line. <laughs> So she chickened out, you know, that's the main thing. <laughs> she couldn't go through with it. I don't blame her. I mean, she was a little kid. That would be very intimidating. Derek Mears is a big guy. He's like 6'4", six, 6'5", six, you know, and uh, a little intimidating looking, especially to a little kid. And so uh, she couldn't do it, but he still gave her the photo. That is me. Yeah. They're talking a lot about the new Texas Chainsaw game. Apparently, he's in that game, and uh, he was talking to them about how great that game's going to be. Fun to have to escape and run kill Originally, we got the Friday, but didn't have the story. Really? No, no, no. It's nice you to show up, Hunter. Fuck off. Why don't you go fuck your mother? How's that sound? Does that sound good?
really got the best one. Last one, and then we can do it. Yeah, so unfortunately, the uh, the battery on the camera, uh, on the glasses, um, died, and I didn't know it. Um, I was glad we got as much footage as we did, especially of Kane Hodder. We missed some really cool stuff. Uh, as we left it there, you know, we had just seen uh, John Kazir, you know, the Crypt Keeper. Uh, he was leaving. He was on his way out. He kind of made that remark to Kane Hodder, and Kane Hodder, you know, told him to go F his mother. And then the two ladies that were there at the booth, they, they tell him, they go, you know that was John Kazir, right? And he goes, oh, that was John? I didn't know that. I thought it was just some random guy. And so he stands up, and he sees Kazir over talking to Roger L. Jackson. You know, he was packing up his booth, too. And he just yells out at the top of his lungs, John, you know, and he does it like three times. And everyone in the convention is like, it falls dead silence. Everyone's looking at Kane Hodder. And, uh, you know, he gets uh, John Kazir's attention and he says, you've been summoned. And uh, so Kazir comes over and Hodder goes out from behind the, you know, the booth and, uh, Gives him a hug, tells him that he didn't know it was him, so... Uh, but he kind of jokes around like that anyway. I mean, he was, he was, uh, you know, he was pretty rough on a few fans. Um, but in a fun, joking way, you know, you gotta, you know... Like, you, you can't... You have to have some, a little bit of thick skin around him, I think, probably. <laughs> he seems like one of those guys, but, you know, I loved it. I thought it was super funny. Um, but, uh, anyway... Um, when he, when I took the photo with him, though, like, I mean, he, like, like, got us in a headlock, and there was, like, all these boxes on the floor, and there was one in between me and him, and when he, I wasn't expecting him to, like, reach out and grab me the way he did, and I totally almost fell. I mean, I came so close to falling. Um, I would have been so embarrassed, but truthfully, I probably would have ended up grabbing hold of him. And took him down too, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. But, uh, yeah, like, so in that photo, he really has a, a grip on us both. And, uh, you know, but that it was fun. I, I enjoyed it so much. He was a very cool guy to meet. Um, I would I would definitely get his autograph again on a different Friday the 13th poster. Um, you know, but he's expensive. But, you know, that's all right, you know. Uh, I'll probably see him again sometime, I'm sure, and I'll probably get his autograph yet again. Uh, but it's it's always a good time. Let me show you real quick what I did pick up from the vid uh, one of the vendors. Uh, this is the only thing I got. Like I said, the vendors weren't that great. Uh, there was definitely some more cool stuff that I would have liked to have gotten, but, uh, you know, with the nightlife, I mean... Going out and eating, drinking, you know, the food, the bars. I mean, it was a good time. <laughs> it was a real good time. And um, so it got expensive, though, real quick. And uh, so, you know, later on in the week, I got some more videos coming. Uh, be on the lookout for those. Going to get back and do some physical media content. feel like I haven't done that in a while. Uh, Going to do some... Uh, reviews i think uh like maybe uncle sam gonna try to do that one uh, i've got uh maybe a haul video coming up i gotta get some stuff in i haven't really bought much to be honest with you and uh and then we got some uh probably some more news uh, another news video so gonna have some more physical media stuff coming up shortly and also um that's enough for now it's been a long video uh, until next time, stay safe, have fun, keep watching those movies, and I'll see you on the next one.